Hey everybody, Theron Brown here. Happy to be working with you on Playground Sessions, and I'm ready to teach you a new song. It's gonna be cool. Um, today we are working on Unforgettable by Nat King Cole, a great jazz classic, really popular song, and one of my favorite artists. So I can't wait to show you the song. Let's jump in. Okay, folks, we're gonna start off looking at the right hand, and we're gonna put our thumb on D. That's gonna be our starting position. Now this comes from the key of G here, as we look at your key signature. We have one sharp, F sharp. Okay, so we're gonna to have to remember that as we play this song, and our key signature is four two. So we're gonna start out by putting our thumb on D, and our second finger is gonna be on E. That keeps climbing up to our F sharp. Remember, we gotta remember that. We have a tie over to the next note, so that means you're gonna hold it a little bit longer. Okay, then you're gonna go back down to D with your first finger. Then you're gonna play E with your second, and then jump up to G with your fourth finger. Back down to F sharp. Then you're gonna hold that for a really long time. Next, you'll notice that our hand position changes. You're gonna start with your thumb on G just above middle C. Next, you're gonna play A with your second finger, and then up to B with your third. Again, you have that little tied note there with the slur above it, so you're gonna hold it a little bit longer. You go back down to your G, to A with your second finger, and then you're gonna skip over B to C with your fourth finger, and back down to B. And again, we're gonna hold that out for a long time. You'll notice that the fingering is the same in both sections. You're just moving your thumb position from D up to G. All right, so before we move on, I wanna check out this triplet figure here. And it has a, a bracket and there's a little three in the middle of it. So this is a trickier rhythm, but it, you know, you'll be able to feel it. And that's what I want you to do right now is think about the two half notes there, and we're trying to squeeze three of them inside. So you're hearing this beat, and we're gonna fit three. One, two, three, okay? One, two, ba, da, da. Okay, so again, it's a feel thing. Now I know triplets, looking at it, can be a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, we have a bunch of other lessons on triplets and a lot of songs that use them too. So be sure to check out other lessons and we'll dive into that more. One, two, set, go. Good job. Let's try speeding it up now. One, two, set, go. All right, awesome job with the right hand. Let's see what's happening in the left hand. So first we're gonna start with our fourth finger on G, just below middle C, which is here. And as you see, we have this whole note, which is tied to another whole note. We have another one. Then your second finger is gonna land on B flat here. And again, that's tied to another whole note and tied to another whole note, which is gonna make this note last a little bit longer. Okay, looking at measure 17, our thumb is gonna be on C. We have these long ties. 
till we get to our last note of the song, which is A in our third finger. All right, excellent. Will you say we try it at the slow tempo? One, two, set. Awesome. Let's try that a little faster. One, two, set, go. All right, everyone. Well, I'm excited to put the hands together and play this song. There's a couple of things I want you to remember before we jump in. Um, you'll want to look at the three with the brackets around it. Make sure you're playing those as triplets. And remember your accidental in your left hand, the B flat. We don't want to forget that with our second finger. All right, let's give it a go. One, two, set. Excellent job. Now, if you need to review any parts, feel free to go back and check out the left hand or the right hand. But if you're feeling pretty good about it, let's go to the full speed. One, two, set. everybody great job we learned the song you're rocking it out thank you so much for spending this time with me during this session now if you want to learn the rest of the song or if you want to learn a, a bunch of other songs make sure you go to the playground sessions interactive app and wow you can check out all the different level difficulties a bunch of different songs the library is expansive so go have some fun and i'll see you at the next session all right good people thanks for watching i'm theron brown don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. Be sure to check out the Playground Sessions app, co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs.